I made a video some years ago about how you can verify your AdSense account without a PIN and since then a lot has changed and the process is a lot easier. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how you can verify your AdSense account without a PIN and the process you need to follow to achieve this. I would like you to follow every steps in this process carefully to avoid mistakes that might cost you your hard earned money. Yes, someone lost hundreds of dollars because he failed to verify his identity and also lost the opportunity to verify his address. And if you love watching this type of video, please do subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this for content creators. If you are new to AdSense verification process, your new account needs to be approved for payment when you have completed your identity and address verification. These two verifications are necessary for you to start receiving payments from Google. And if you fail any of them, the money you have in that AdSense account will literally be frozen and in some cases, you might lose it. According to Google's support page, Official documents accepted as proof of identity by Google are government-issued ID cards like driver's license, national ID card, and international passports. In the case of address verification, if your address is not on the government-issued ID card, you can submit a bank statement, telephone bill, or rent receipt that display the payee's name and postal address as it appears in your AdSense account. But if you want to use this option to verify your address, you should have resent the pin at least three times. And to know if this option is available to you, go to your YouTube Studio monetization page and check if the pin troubleshooter link is there. And to know what your payee's name and address are in your AdSense account, go to Payment, Payment Info, Management Settings, and here you will find your payee's name and postal address. So whatever ID card or document you will use for your manual verification should have these details on them. If not, your submission will be rejected by Google, except you back it up with a bank statement, telephone bill, or rent receipt that has the payee's information on them. Some common questions do arise like, what if you don't have any of these documents to verify your AdSense account? What can you do? Well, you can use someone else's details as the payee's name and address in your AdSense account. But before you do that, you must make sure that you use their details when you are creating the AdSense account. To start the manual verification, log into the AdSense account page and go to Payment Verification Check. On this page, the owner of this account has completed his identity verification but he is yet to receive the PIN to verify his address from Google for the past three months and his account is about to be demonetized. Also, there have been four attempts to resend the PIN, but they were unsuccessful. And the recent PIN was last made on the 30th November and it will take another three weeks to resend the PIN again if it is not received. So the only option remaining is to get verified without a PIN and to do this, you have to use the PIN troubleshooter form where you can submit your document or documents. The PIN troubleshooter page is where you can manually verify your address without a PIN. And there are two ways you can get to this PIN troubleshooter page. You can either go through your YouTube Studio monetization page and click on the PIN troubleshooter link or on your AdSense verification check page, you can click on learn more, then it will take you to this page and then you scroll down and then click the PIN troubleshooter. So when you get on this page, make sure the email is correct and click yes. Then answer no if you haven't received the PIN. From Google's record, the owner of this account has already requested four PINs and the only option available is to contact the specialist team through this contact form. Click on the contact form which will take you to this page where you will enter the payee's name, the AdSense account email and the AdSense publisher ID. You can find the payee's name by going to payment and payment info and here you will see your payee's name. Make sure the payee's name is exactly the same as the name on the ID card or document you are submitting. Confirm if the email address in the box is correct and then get the AdSense publisher ID from your YouTube Studio monetization page or on the AdSense payment info page. Just copy the publisher ID starting with PUB and then paste it into the box. 
To upload your document, click Choose Files. Remember that the address in the AdSense account must be the same as the address on the ID card. That is, if you are using a driver's license in Nigeria. But I know for the international passport and other documents, your address might not be there. And if the address is not on the ID card you are trying to use, you can also confirm your address by providing a bank statement, telephone B or a receipt with the payee's name and address on it. But if the payee's name and address is the same as the one on the ID card, you don't need all these extra documents. For example, I'm submitting a driver's license for this account. The payee's name and address are on the driver's license, so there's no need for me to attach another document because the name and address are on the driver's license. When you are set, select the file or files from the storage and then click open and then click submit. You will get this message on your screen and you will be contacted within 48 hours after submitting the form via email. For this particular application, it was approved in less than 10 minutes. I will drop the link to the Google support page where you can read more about the official document accepted for proof of identity and proof of address. Also, not every language is accepted for this document. You can also check the list of languages accepted. Of course, English is accepted. When I return to the AdSense verification check page, I discovered that the address verification was already completed. I guess this could be an AI automated system that checks the document against the details on the AdSense account. This is why it is very important to ensure the details on both ends are the same. With the verification completed, I will now go ahead to add the payment method for this account so that when the next payment for this AdSense account will be made, it will be made into the owner's bank account. There are two options here to add a payment method, a wire transfer and a check. And the wire transfer is what we use most here in Nigeria. So I will select it and enter the details of the bank account I want the payment to be made. I will enter the name on the bank account, the bank's name and the bank's SWIFT code. You will find the list of SWIFT codes for Nigerian's bank on my blog. I will drop the link in the description. So find your bank switch code, copy it and paste it here. Then enter the bank account and confirm it in the following box and set the payment method as primary so that payments will be attempted on it first in case you add more payment method in the future. Then finally click save. With this, all the error messages in the AdSense account has been cleared. And if I go back to the YouTube studio, I believe when I refresh it, the whole error messages on that YouTube studio will be cleared as well. So this means that the US tax info has been submitted, the identity verified, address verified, and then payment method completed. So any money coming through the YouTube channel into the AdSense account will be paid to the owner's bank account in the due time. Now that everything is cleared, there's no need to worry about the never coming pin. Your YouTube channel or your website is good to go. So what do you think about this process? I learned that some major postal office in Nigeria has not received the Google PIN parcel for some time. Is it the same in your area? Please share it in the comment section. I would like to know. So give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I will see you in the next one.